Can your laptop power a set of 250 ohm headphones? In this video, we're using the Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pro 250 ohm headphones, and a lot of people are trying to figure out compatibility wise can a laptop power these headphones? I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative, and in this video, we're going to answer that question based on my testing with both Mac and PC laptops to give you the answer. Now, if you're looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, the headphones, the mic, the interface, or the laptops, please check out the links down in the description below. The quick answer to this question, can your laptop power set a 250 ohm headphones, is that with all the laptops that we tested, we did find that it had sufficient volume. There's a lot of other reasons to get a headphone amp. A lot of people like the tone or the coloration that may or may not come from a solid state or a tube-based headphone amp. But what we're talking about in this video is just raw audio. So we tested this on a 2016 MacBook Pro. With this 2016 MacBook Pro, if I'm listening to music in Apple Music, Spotify, or YouTube, something like that, I did find that I had to set the volume somewhere around 85 to 90%. If I was using these headphones for audio editing in Final Cut Pro or in Logic or something like that, I found that the same 85 to 90% gave me the volume that I was looking for while monitoring, while I was editing the audio or video. Now, obviously on PCs, there's a lot more variation just to, due to the amount of manufacturers and makes and models of laptops. The Mac lineup is pretty standardized, so I would expect similar performance across all other Mac laptops. But with the PC line, I was actually surprised. I found that the volume was much, much lower in order to give me that full volume of listening with music on iTunes or YouTube or Spotify or something like that. I found with this particular Asus laptop here that I was running at about 60, 65 percent. And again, this was the same volume level as the MacBook where I wouldn't really want to be listening to music at this volume for more than 30 minutes. That's how loud it was. And again, if I was doing video editing or tinkering around with uh, unfinished audio, I was somewhere around 75 percent volume because again, that audio isn't hasn't quite been normalized or brought up but the laptop here did have the headroom and the performance that I was looking for in order to power these 250 ohm headphones obviously that will vary we did test this on an HP and a Dell laptop as well with those specific models that we tested we did find a similar performance so I would expect that most PC laptops could drive a set of these Bayer Dynamic 250 ohm headphones, but I do just want to put the caveat in there that your mileage may vary depending on the specific make and model. So overall, for music listening or audio or video editing, I think you will be happy and comfortable just plugging your headphone jack straight into the side of these headphones. I don't think that you need to go down to a set of 80 ohm headphones, and I don't think that you need an external power amp if you're just listening listening to finished music with these headphones and one of these laptops. If you have any questions or comments about anything that you've seen in this video, please leave it in the comment section down below. If you want pricing or specs again for anything that you see in this video, please check out the links in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future where we answer your home studio based questions, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. <music>